military weapons. Welcome back and thanks for joining us, where today we are talking about the classic AK-47, also known as the Kalashnikov. It's one of the oldest and most deadly weapons in the world that mankind has ever seen. This gas-operated 762 by 39 mm assault rifle was developed in the Soviet Union by Mikhail Kalashnikov and originates as a firearm of the Kalashnikov rifle family. Of its design, the AK-47 was designed to be simple, reliable, and fully automatic and could be manufactured quickly and cheaply. The AK-47 uses a long-stroke gas system that is generally associated with great reliability in adverse conditions. It has a large gas piston with generous clearances of between moving parts and a tapered cartridge design that allows the weapon to endure large amounts of foreign matter and firing without failing to cycle. Some interesting facts about the AK-47 include that it's in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most common weapon in the world. At present, there's an estimated 100 million AK-47s worldwide. The AK-47 is well known for its penetration power. Its projectiles can go through walls and even vehicles' metal bodies, hitting a target behind them. The AK-47 is the world's most illegally sold with deadly accuracy up to that distance, but it's also also a very good shooter that can hit a target at least 800 meters away. It is the only assault rifle in the world that can function in any environment. Immerse it in water, put it in sand, douse it in mud, and the AK-47 will still function. The AK-47 is even depicted on the arms. Currently, it can be found on the arms of the African country of Zimbabwe, Mozambique, East Timor, Burkina Faso, Congo, and as well, the emblem of the Lebanese group Hezbollah. In some African countries, they give it the name Kalash, in honor of Kalishnikov. Of all the weapons in the vast Soviet arsenal, Nothing was more profitable than Oftimont Kalashnikova, model of 1947, more commonly known as the AK-47 or Kalashnikov. It's the world's most popular assault rifle, a weapon all fighters love. An elegantly simple nine-pound amalgamation of forged steel and plywood. It doesn't break, jam, or overheat. To fire the AK-47, the operator inserts a loaded magazine, pulls back, and then releases the charging handle then just simply pulls the trigger. In semi-automatic mode, the firearm shoots only once, requiring the trigger to be released and depressed again for the next shot. In fully automatic, the rifle continues to fire automatically, cycling fresh rounds into the chamber until the magazine is exhausted or pressure is released from the trigger. After the ignition of the cartridge primer and propellant, rapidly expanding propellant gases are diverted into the gas cylinder above the barrel through a vent near the muzzle. The buildup of gases inside the gas cylinder drives the long stroke piston and bolt carrier rearward and a cam guided machine into the underside of the bolt carrier. Along with an ejector spur on the bolt carrier rail guide, it rotates the bolt approximately 35 degrees, unlocking it from the barrel extension via a camming pin on the bolt. The moving assembly has about 5.5 millimeters of free travel, which creates a delay between the initial recoil impulse of the piston and the bolt unlocking sequence. This allows gas pressures to drop to a safe level before the seal between the chamber and the bolt is broken. The AK-47 does not have a gas valve. Excess gases are ventilated through a series of radial ports in the gas cylinder. The Kalashnikov operating system offers no primary extraction upon bolt rotation, but uses an extractor claw to eject the spent cartridge case. The AK-47 and its variants are made in dozens of countries, with quality ranging from finely engineered weaponry to pieces of questionable workmanship. As a result, the AK-47 has a service system life of approximately 6,000 to 10,000 to even in some cases 15,000 rounds. The AK-47 was designed to be cheap, simple, and easy to make, perfectly matching Soviet military doctrine that treats equipment and weapons as disposable items. As units are often deployed without adequate logistical support and dependent on battlefield cannibalization for resupply, it is actually more cost-effective to replace the weapon rather than to repair it. 
of its accessories. It's supplied with a 387 mm long 6H3 bayonet featuring a 200 mm long spear point blade. The AK-47 can also mount a cup type grenade launcher, the Kalashnikov grenade launcher that fires standard RGD-5 Soviet hand grenades. All current AKs and some older models have side rails for mounting a variety of scopes and sighting devices, such as the PSO-1 optical sniper sight. It features a cartridge that holds 7.62 39mm rounds. It's gas operated with a rotating bolt. The cyclic rate of fire is 600 rounds per minute. It has a combat rate of fire that features semi-auto rounds of 40 rounds a minute and it bursts 100 rounds a minute. Its muzzle velocity is 715 meters per second, effective firing range at 350 meters with a feed system of 30 round detachable box magazines. Also, it features 5, 10, 20 and 40 round box as well as 75 and 100 round drum magazines that are available. Its sights include 100 to 800 mm adjusted iron sights with a sight radius of 378 mm. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like, share, and leave your comments if you loved it. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss more videos like this one in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.